All right, so today we're gonna head out in this Genesis bog to try and find ourselves an X acro to team up. This thing is from our conditions. You know the mod that I like to simp for? It's a really great mod. Check it out if you haven't already. Um, yeah. So it's from our conditions, obviously. So modded creature straight off the bat. I'm not trying to clickbait you or anything. I never try to do that. So shut up. Anyway, um, so this is a really cool creature. Like, obviously, everybody everybody who's watched the series so far, you'll probably know this creature because we've encountered so many of them and they're just so freaking dangerous. Uh, let me see if we can find one, actually. They're usually in around this area. Although, to be honest, they're kind of all over the swamp right here. Uh, let me see. Is there one back here, maybe? No, I don't really see one. All right, well, anyway, so we're going to be trying to tame up one of these dudes here today with the X. Uh, variation so obviously it's gonna have the really cool skin which is really nice and definitely more appealing than the regular one although there's also a scorched one as well which is only available in the desert so ragnarok and then also scorched earth uh those are cool but i think we're just gonna go for the x one instead uh did i just see one back there what was that was that one of these dudes i think it was yeah we got one right over there sweet all right let me head over here and take a little look while i explain it so what we gotta do to tame up one of these dudes is we gotta wait till it goes into its stance. It's like little defensive stance. That's a terrible level. And then at that point, we've gotta shoot it, I think, 10 times? I think it's 10, something like that. And then what we gotta do is we... Oh my god, that big attack there actually does a lot of damage. That one that it just did, the giant foot stomp. So then at that stage, we basically gotta, like, make it roar by shooting it 10 times and then run up and shove some biotoxin into its mouth. Which sounds very scary, and it is, because if it can go into adrenaline mode, you're kind of screwed, you know, if you're right up in its face. So you want to get away at that point if uh, if you're right up into its face. So hopefully this goes well here today. I really, like, I'm confident, but at the same time, I'm not. I mean, these things are so dangerous, and if I die a ton or lose one of my creatures, I'm probably going to cry. But anyway, guys, go ahead, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. The channel has been going really great so far this month, and I'm really excited. Uh, we've got the new series, the new hunt series, and we have some other cool pl- Oh my god! No! Get away! How do I get out of the water? No! I went under! No, damn it! Okay, that was scary. I flew right into a Dinosuchus- into a Dinosuchus's mouth, kind of, sort of, uh, with the giant gigabyte that it has, which would have been definitely very terrifying on my dude here. All right, freak out over. Um, what the hell is happening? Okay, is there a Bloodstalker up there? There could be. All right, well, anyway, let me let me just continue my ways over here. Don't know what I was saying, but I'm sure it was somewhat important. Uh, I'll see you guys a little bit when we try and find ourselves a high level one of these dudes, and hopefully that doesn't take too long to find. <gasps> oh! Dude, that's a freaking 180. Oh my God, and it's got kind of like blue colors as well. I'm really hoping we get some nice colors here. Let me take a little look. Uh, Oh, oh, that's a nice acro. I'm hoping that it's not too hurt actually because it's fighting a bunch. Oh no, those are just packing minus. Okay, never mind. We should be good. Let me go ahead and just clear out this little island a little bit, even though there's just like basic creatures around. Definitely don't want anything interrupting me here. Stupid moss chops, you could lead him astray. You could take him away from me. It's mine, that's my acro. All right, let me see. Oh my God, there's so many freaking bugs here. I don't think I've ever noticed how many like little bugs are just on the ground all the time. Like, I guess the only way to really notice them is if you run into them or if you're using a Bloodstalker because it just shows everything for you. Oh, we've got a Bronto back here. Okay, I might need to kill that dude as well. Let me see. Let me just, there we go. Yeah, I feel like we might need to go ahead and kill this Bronto just to kind of get it out of the way. Why did that not count? Oh, by the way, we have a new shotgun. I'm not sure if I even really addressed that. Um, we got a nice blueprint when we were looking for blueprints for the Megatheriums. And, uh, yeah, I went ahead and crafting skilled it, and we got 42%, which is pretty good. So, yeah, I think, um, can't remember the exact damage on it, but I think it's, like, it was somewhat close to what my old shotgun was. So I think it's, like, 280 or something. I can't exactly remember, though. Uh, whereabouts is this thing? There it is, fighting a Stego. Please stop fighting the Stego, maybe? Oh, no, no. You're gonna kill that Stego. We should be good. All right, sweet. Uh, is down there a good spot to try and do this? Probably not. Um, okay. I don't know if I can just outrun you right now. And also, I gotta be really cautious about not hitting zero. Because if I hit zero, I'm gonna end up eating Biotoxin, which is gonna be terrible for me. So we gotta watch out and not do that. Uh, maybe we can trigger the first 
little bit from here. Oh, it's oh, it's already roaring. Wait, that's not an adrenaline roar though, is it? I don't think it is. Was it? I don't think it was, right? Oh crap, is it getting up here? I don't think that was the the correct one. Was it already? No. It kind of like glows a little bit. Oh wait, no, no, it's pretty fast. I think that might have been it. I'm not sure though. I don't know. I I wasn't really watching too much. Was it a defensive position mode thing with the with the uh, stego? <laughs> um, this is kind of terrifying. Let me. All right, let me let me get back down there. We just go take a little look. We're just gonna take a little gander down here. Okay, I think we're good. I yeah. I thought it might have been in adrenaline mode, but I guess it wasn't. Although it kind of looks. No, it doesn't look hurt. It was kind of shiny, so I thought it actually was hurt. All right, never mind. Let me see if I can do that then. So we basically just need to hurt it enough, get it into that de defensive position thingy. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, three shots. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I can't feed it. No. Oh, crap. Fly away. Fly away. Okay. First attempt. Not very good. I did not get to feed it. I didn't even see a pop up. All right. We need to find a flatter area. This is awful. Okay. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it's 10 shots is what you need to do. Maybe I shouldn't have brought my best rifle. Hmm, that probably wasn't a great idea. Maybe just a small pistol would have worked. If we need to heal it though, we can heal it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Are you, are you almost done uh, hulking out down there, Mrs. Acro? I am so sorry for for annoying you. This is kind of like a Karen. Maybe we should just call it Karen, should we? Do you think we should? I mean, like, it does freak out a lot. I mean, yeah, we might need to call it that. Sorry for all my Karen listeners. Um, yeah, sorry that your name was destroyed by the internet. <laughs> I didn't start it, okay? Uh, let me see. All right. Well, at least we can name the Sakura after you, but just not for a good reason. Anyway, uh, let me see. Come on. Are you are you almost done? Please, please be done soon. That would be great. I definitely should have brought a weaker gun. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I should be doing super high damage against it, right? I just need to hit it a certain amount of times. Why did I bring this? All right, whatever. We might be okay for the moment. Let me let me at least let me at least try and see if we can get this thing knocked out to tame it. So basically, yeah, we gotta feed it the biotoxin. And eventually it knocks it out and then we can tame it just normally you know so the knockout is the strange part for this creature uh okay maybe i should be on my blood stalker do you guys think this would be a good idea i kind of don't really but at the same time it might <laughs> let me see um get go away i thought i killed all of your kind get out of here all right let me we might need to kill that uh that daedon that thing's probably causing some issues there we go. Come on. Why are you picking a fight with everything? No! <laughs> go away. Yeah, they're already pretty powerful as they are. And when they're in adrenaline mode, they're just scary. And also they become like invincible for a few seconds as well, which is really scary. All right, let me see. Um, are you, are you good? Do you think I, do you think I can do this? I would say that now is probably a good time. You know what? I don't even want to be on the Bloodstalker because it's not even that easy to, like, control. So let me go ahead and just take out a Denonicus instead. Uh, which one is Poe? There we go. Okay. You didn't have anything good on you, right? Let me see. No, we're good. All right, sweet. So let me just go take a look. Okay, now I realize why we're not on a Denonicus. These things don't have that much weight. Um, all right, let me... Oh, there you are. Okay. Hey, hey, oh, are you kidding? Go away. <laughs> Go away. We don't need anything here. We just need me and the acro. Nice bottle of wine. Something like that. I can't even drink wine. I hate that stuff. All right, let me see. Uh, we need to get you into defensive mode, eh? Okay, here we go. Oh, no, you're not doing it. Never mind. All right, what about now? One, two, three, four. We did four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, right? I'm in the mesh! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this game! It put me into the freaking mesh! Wild card, I could feel them. They were behind me. They're trying to ban me. Alright, great. Now that's oh, every single 
every single time so far. Something out, something's went wrong. Can I just airlift this thing out of here? Put it somewhere better? Ah! No, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry, Karen. Oh wait, no, you're fine. You're okay. Uh, maybe don't, maybe don't pick a fight with that thing. Okay, no, never mind. You got it. You're good. <laughs> This is like an awful area. I wish that I could take the bog one out and bring it to somewhere nicer, you know? Uh, although maybe if I break all these things, then we should be okay. This is just an awful area to try and do this in. What am I even doing? Uh, okay, sorry, Karen. Ow, I was reloading. I didn't even get the reload, are you kidding me? All right, let me fix that then. All right, there we go, finally. Um, let me see. We just keep breaking all these things so I can clear them out and make sure that there's no creatures around. And hopefully not have to mesh to try and tame you. All right, let me see. Get into your stupid defensive mode, please. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Awesome. How knocked out are you? Oh, it doesn't... Okay, wait, uh, it probably does say, but I just can't read it. Oh my god, I need to feed so many times. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh wait, no. Oh, I meant to continue it, didn't I? Hang on. <laughs> it's been a while since I've tried to tame one of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I think it's nine then. Yeah, that's probably what it is. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And fed you another time. All right, let me bring you back this way. There we go. And the biotoxin actually does heal it just a little bit. So that's probably what you want to feed it. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Come on. Are you actually kidding me? No! Ah! <laughs> no, why? Why do you keep, like, roaring into a rock? There's just something that I can't reach you from. Oh, my God, you're awful. Oh, wait, no. We're okay. Oh, you're not... Oh, you're not in your stance. That didn't even work. Maybe I did feed it. Did I feed it? I just didn't see it if I did. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, is it eight or is it? I can't even tell, man. Maybe it's eight. One, oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's nine. I don't even know. So hard to tell. Let me just make sure that it knows I want to continue. I'd love to get a full reload done, but I don't think that's going to happen. I hit that bug instead. That's amazing. Okay. Are you going to do your roar at all? Do the roar. Okay. I fed it. I fed it. We're good. We're good. All right. Let's get a full reload gun. Oh my God. How close are you to being knocked out? I wonder. Two, three. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh, can you get Ah! No! No! Get out of here! Oh my god! Why did you lead me over here with this freaking Dinosuchus? Uh, why is it not attacking as well? Oh, uh, no. I think we've lost this 180. If it fights the Dinosuchus, we've probably lost it. Let me... Stupid Dinosuchus, die. Uh, die, Dinosuchus, please. Oh, it's, it didn't even care. What is with that? All right, cool. You know what? Maybe <laughs> that was scary. Uh, yeah, go ahead and eat that, please. Okay, what is your torpor at? Oh, wow, it's not even like halfway. Okay. I gotta keep feeding you. What are you, what are you gonna do your roar, I wonder? Now? Are you kidding me? Why'd you have to do that into a tree? Are you in adrenaline mode now? I think you might be. Are you? I can't even tell. There's so many trees and just so much stuff around. I need to try and lead it around in a circle. Cause like right now what we're doing is just 
awful. And I know this is probably really frustrating to watch, but like, where else am I supposed to do this? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Seven, eight. And I definitely hit it with one shot that I didn't count. There we go. Neon. On reload. Definitely don't have enough shots for this. Roar! What are you at, I wonder? Damn, bud. You're... I need to start using the shotgun. Is that going to make you roar? I think it does, because it, it technically it hits the amount of times that you need to. Okay. Maybe we just keep trying that then. Two shotgun shells seems to do it, but we need to go with the sniper at the very end. There we go. Let me bring it back around this way. Try and get some distance from it. There we go. Fed it. Follow me. Oh, keep running. Passive as well. There we go. Did I feed it? I think I got it. All right, we're getting close to the end here. We need to switch back. One, two. Yeah, shotgun's definitely nicer. Obviously, like I said, you know, switch back to the sniper towards the end. Like right now. Come on. Okay, roar. Does that knock you out? Are you almost out? One more, one more. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, uh, one more, one more. Here we go, here we go. Come on, do the roar! Yes! We got you! All right, let me get over here and get away from it. All right, we gotta, we gotta hunt down everything else in the area. I, I'm so sorry if that was really frustrating to watch. Trust me, I've definitely had better times taming them, but this area is awful. Uh, so if you're gonna get one and you want just an easier tame, maybe, maybe go for one that's not in this biome. Uh, what are you, where were you going for a second there? <laughs> Didn't like that. Uh, do we have anything in this area? I don't see anything. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my god, that was not an easy tame to do. Um, but we got it. We got it. So there, we've learned some things in the in the meantime. You know, obviously you don't need to have powerful weapons unless you're trying to get it into the stance, which I think it needs to be down by <clears throat> like 10% of its health or something, I think, to go into that stance. So once it gets into that stance... Uh, you, you should probably use weaker weapons, though. I mean, I didn't kill it, and my weapons are really good, and it's still got a lot of health, and it's actually fully healed as well. So that's awesome. Um, all right, let me, let me, let me feed you. I know that this thing takes, uh, what is it, exceptional kibble, but I don't have any of that on me, so I just go ahead and use that instead. And we also have the biotoxin that we can keep it down with, because it does actually decrease in torpor relatively quick. Uh, let's get over here. So... You know, until you're kind of getting down to the very end there, uh, you should probably use a shotgun to get it into the stance. Two two hits with the shotgun does it. It needs to hit, what is it, nine times, right? And I think a shotgun, I think it hits like seven or eight times or something like that. So, yeah, definitely, definitely an easier way to do it uh, instead of using a sniper. Definitely use the sniper at the end because you're going to screw it up if you don't. But, uh, yeah, and maybe, I guess as well, you could probably do some more damage. So that's awesome. All right. Well, anyway, I'll bring you guys back when this thing is tamed up because now we just got to sit here and and protect it if we can. I mean, actually, wait, hang on. Oh, you're good. Oh, yes, 100%. All right. I got to make sure. I, I had to make sure. All right, sweet. So we will have Karen. We will have her very, very soon. She will be ours. And uh, we're going to... We're gonna, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm going I'm to go ahead and speak to the manager right after this, guys. We're gonna go and talk to Rockwell. Make sure that he knows that, you know, his creatures aren't 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 good enough. I don't know where I'm going with this. You know what I'm talking about. You know the joke. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You gonna go ahead and tame up then anytime soon, Karen? There we go, we got her. Awesome. Alright, let me see. Uh alright, well I guess we can put you away then, Silky. Alright, sorry. We gotta go talk to the manager now. Alright, let me see. So first of all, actually, let me put you away. Check out those stats. Oh, crap. How much kibble did I put in there? 
I'd ate a few pieces, I think. I think it ate my maybe like two or three pieces. Damn, all right. Well, whatever. It's fine. Um. Oh, holy melee! 47 points. That's kind of hot, not gonna lie. Uh, all right, sweet. 47 points into melee. That is really, really good. Now, let's hopefully not get this thing to die. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that... I forgot that the player sits on the side. Oh my god, that's so goofy. I forgot how goofy that is. Can I pull out weapons in the back? No, I can't. Could you imagine, though? So, um... Yeah, the reason why the player sits on the side is because it basically shields you. How did I forget about that? It's been... It's actually been a long time since I've actually tamed an acro. It really has. All right, well, anyway, first of all, let me just, like, visually just take a look at this thing. I think this in, like, a, the bog variant looks so cool. Look at those eyes. I'd love if I could, like, zoom in a little bit better, but I really can't. They're kind of purpley, sort of, uh, I guess. I don't really know. They got, like, a little purple, uh, what is it called? Like, an iris, right? And then, like, the rest of it is is blue, and I think there's, like, a black dot or whatever for the pupil. Looks really, really cool. Uh, we actually got really, really good, uh, not stats, colors here. Let me just quickly have a look at that as well. Uh, let me see. So, yeah. It's got some orange in there, apparently. I didn't see that. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let me let me just check this thing out. So, we've got left click, which is a bite. Very cool. Right click puts you into the shield stance. So, as you can see, like, this is me walking forward. You can hardly see my character. And my character's tall, so if your character was small, I don't think you'd actually be able to see the head on it. So, in PvP, something like this would be kind of insane. Like, you'd be able to fully shield yourself. Like, even slightly vertically as well. Like I said, my character's really tall. Like, my character is max height. So, yeah, something like that would actually probably work out really well. Uh, but, yeah, shield stance basically means that you take uh, less damage. And you can actually kind of, like, move around a little bit as well. So, if something's, like, kind of trying to get around you, you can just keep con continue, like, to shield against whatever direction you want. It is pretty slow in this stance, but it makes sense because it's kind of like walking sideways. And then, obviously, in this stance, we've got a knockback, which is pretty cool. So that's left click. If I hit right click, it's just going to take me out of that. C does nothing. Control is a roar. Oh, I love that roar. And uh, that is it for this. Space does nothing as well. All right, so let's get out of this shield stance thingy. Uh, we've got C, which is the giant stomp. You can only do that in this stance right here, in, like, normal stance. X does nothing, and control is, again, a roar. But I believe that those roars are different. Let's listen again. I think maybe there's actually a normal variation in the roars. Yeah, okay, so never mind. They're probably not different, but this thing has multiple different type of roars that it can do just randomly. So that's pretty cool. I actually like that detail. All right, let me see. So first of all, we need to go around and kill some creatures. Let's not test it out on a stego or something stupid like that. We got to test it out on something that's not mate boosted. 400 damage is pretty good. Okay. That's awesome. So that's a non mate boosted creature. That's not an X creature. So we're not going to bother testing it out on any of these guys here because they're not. Uh, the stegos will take reduced damage and then the parasaur is an X creature. So it just takes that reduced damage as well. Uh, what do we have over here? We've got a Carno. Sweet. Oh, thank you, Helena. I don't know why you're telling me now, though. Uh, let me get a little bit closer. All right, let me test this out then. Boom! So not as much damage, of course, but obviously, yeah, you're not really supposed to be doing crazy damage with that. That attack right there is mainly used for just knocking things out of your way. Here is the C stomp, though. Pretty freaking good, actually. Um, I think, was there something to do with weight-based or something on that? I can't remember exactly. What the hell was that? Oh, it, I think it was the Dimorphodon. It, like, flew in front of the screen. I thought something, like, flew in the air or something like that. That was weird. I think there's something to do with, like, weight-based attacks or something like that with this dude. And by the way, that is an X uh, Dinosuchus right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, crap. I should not have tried to fight this thing. I don't know which is worse. Oh, we can get into adrenaline mode here as well, actually, if I take some extra damage in this mode here. As you can see, we've got the rage meter on the side there. Oh, we are at... Yeah, we're in adrenaline mode now. All right, let me see. Boom. Hopefully, I don't take too much damage from this thing. So, obviously, the Dinosuchus is a terrifying creature. You should not try to fight it. I don't know why I'm doing it right now. It's taking me down by so much health right now. 
it's not even funny. That's only level 24. Am I still bleeding from it? I don't think I am. All right, cool. So now we are in the adrenaline mode. And as you can see, we are kind of somewhat glowing. We have a really cool little uh, thing on the side of the screen there as well. The effect. We are obviously faster, uh, stronger. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually give a proper description. Okay, well, just that number that you see right there is half. Unless these dudes are ultimate boosted. They might be. There's nothing else that I can really hit around here, though. Okay, so yeah, that number right there doubled is what we do right now. And then this attack, we would basically do a thousand damage about that. Oh, wait, did that hit twice? Hang on. Let me see. I got to try that out again. Boom. Oh, yeah, it hits. Oh, it hits a bunch of times. I did not. Okay, I didn't remember that. I don't remember doing that. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so the way to do that is obviously take damage while you're in the uh, shielded stance mode, which is really awesome. That's how much damage we're doing right now. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Wait, what? What the hell? Wait. Oh, wait. I think maybe. Hang on. Oh, I got to find this out. I got to find this out. Do I just do damage based on the weight of a creature in general? Oh my god, I should have read the wiki page. I could have sworn there was something like that, and that's obviously what we're seeing right here. So the smaller the creature is, the more damage you'll do to it. Okay, sorry about that. Completely messed up what that was. I didn't realize that was applied to the normal bite as well. So let me see. How much damage can this do to you? Not that much, but you're also an X creature, so we got to bear that in mind. And that attack doesn't really do that much either. Okay, let's get a... Let's get a couple more hits in here. Maybe we can hit some piranha or something. Let's see our max damage that we can actually do. Let's see. Um, any piranha around? I can't really see any. We have some raptors, but they're X raptors. And again, they have their resistance. So it's kind of not really worth fighting them. Let me see. What is that right there? What is that? A, a, I don't know. Something small. We also got some piranha right here. So, 2,900? I, I can't tell. Is it 2,100? Yeah, 2,199 is the max damage that I just saw there. That is kind of insane, actually. Um, so, the weight-based kind of uh, attack is obviously based on the creature's weight, which isn't their weight stat. It's, uh, what is it called? The drag weight, I believe, right? So, we do different damages to different creatures. And obviously, the bigger something is, the less damage you're going to do to it. Uh, so something like a piranha, we could just do incredible damage with this attack if we could actually hit it. That would be cool. Here we go. Let me let me try it again. Can I do that again? Okay, we gotta wait a sec. Here we go. And uh, boom! Yeah. And then this attack does a pretty good amount of damage as well. So obviously for small creatures, like using something like an acro would actually be really good. You could just tear through them. But for the bigger creatures and bosses and stuff, not really going to have such a great time against them. Though, these things in general are already really good. And let me just go ahead and go into the stance and just let them hit me. Let my rage build up inside. To be honest, actually sitting in like a, a pool of piranha for this would probably be really good. Uh, maybe we should do that, actually. I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? They're, they're going to get me there. They're going to get me there eventually. We're, we're building up the rage inside very, very slowly, but we're going to get there. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to get there. I'm going to tear these things apart <laughs> in a few moments, maybe. <laughs> no, the turtles decided they don't want to fight anymore. All right, great. So we're still slightly enraged. Let me see if I can get this prana to hit me. Uh, whereabouts were they? Yeah, to be honest, unless they come from me naturally, there might not be. Okay, here we go. Are they going to? Are you coming for me? You... Come on, hit me. There you go. Awesome. All right, keep hitting me then. Only one of them's hitting me. It's not working out very well. Uh, maybe I should just go for something bigger. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's just screw the idea of trying to get small creatures to hit me because it's not working out. Maybe these raptors will indulge in my weird uh, act that I need to go through with. <laughs> Come on, other raptor. Come over here. Let's get in here. There you go. Yes. Yes, hurt me. I want to be hurt. This is a weird kink for this acro. All right, adrenaline mode activated and boom. Let's do some bites. We, we got to wait a second. Can I do it? There we go. So we're doing some pretty good damage to them. Nothing insane. I want to test it out on the piranhas though. Whereabouts are they? There they are. So that's how much damage I do for a bite. So the damage is double basically. Let's try and get one of these in. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I freaking ate something and it like stunned me out of the uh, 
the attack and now I can't do another one. I love that. All right, hang on. Where, where's that prana gone? Let me see my maximum damage. Oh my God, 4,000. Yeah, okay. So I, I actually think that on my patron server, I do believe that people have been using acros for like boss fights for quite some time. So something like this is very viable for something like that, obviously. Uh, you're probably gonna need some mutations and stuff, but definitely a very good creature to use for something like that. Plus, you can actually use it as just a tank as well. Like if you get the boss to aggro onto you, you could just go into this stance. I can't do it right now. You can go into that stance and just take a bunch of damage and uh, resist a bunch of it as well. So I don't know, something like this is probably gonna be really good for that. And to be honest, maybe we should try that at some point in this series. We, we definitely should. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. Anyway, let's just try and tear through some more of these dudes here. We're doing just random damages to everything because like I said, based on the drag weight, which is, I don't think I fully explained that, but that's kind of something to do with uh, what creatures can be picked up by what and, and different things like that. And then it also, I think it mostly applies to boss arenas. So uh, in some cases, like a boss arena, you'd only be able to bring through this amount of drag weight and something like that. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to really explain unless you like look at the wiki and see and kind of understand it for yourself. But uh, that's not a great explanation, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I think that we definitely need to name this thing Karen. I, I, I definitely feel like we we got to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after I get into adren adrenaline mode and then just tear through these stegos like it's, you know, other customers in my way. I don't know. Let's see. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. I didn't mean to do that. I thought we could like see the stat or something. All right, here we go. I'm going to do this attack. Boom. Oh my God. I hit a bug there as well. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we, we are just the most overpowered acro. And by the way, I didn't even level anything. So could you imagine an imprinted one of these dudes with like a bunch of levels into some of the stats? I mean, to be honest, it came out with really good stats anyway. And I mean, the stamina is really good. Uh, the health is already really good kind of like on par with a, a lower tier Rex. And then uh, the melee just in general is also really, really good. So I don't know, we, we, gotta, we gotta do more with these creatures for sure. We gotta do some breeding at some point. We gotta do some mutations. We gotta do some boss fights. That will all happen, don't you worry. All right, let's see, come on. I'm gonna finish you off with one of these before I lose my buff. Kind of hit you a little bit. There we go, nice. And there's also a Sarko here too, hello. My dinner, there we go, sweet. Oh my god, yeah, this creature's awesome. And I actually really love the glow as well. Like, the glow that it gives off is really cool. It's kind of hard to, to like, fully see it there. But, like, anywhere that you see, like, the streaks of, like, purple, uh, it's that's what the glow is, essentially. And it's going to go away now, I believe. It kind of fades away. Yeah, it's kind of gone there. Yeah, awesome. All right. We actually, I still don't even see the orange that I apparently have on this dude. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with like the adrenaline mode or something like that. I wonder if that region is like region that you can get color mutations on. Cause that would be really cool. Could you imagine like a, I don't know, like a cyan one for adrenaline mode. That would be really nice. We should get that. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. We have this a new amazing acro. We gotta use it for some awesome things at some point in the future. It is a 180 as well, so really awesome tame. This freaking Daedon's still even alive. Are you kidding me? Um, we really do need to watch out for Dina, Dinosuchus though. Like I wasn't joking. These things are really, really terrifying. And now that the bleed works properly, we gotta we gotta check them out again. Um, maybe before we end off the video, we can kill we can go and kill this uh, this Brachy over here. See how much damage we do to it. But um, yeah, so the Dinosuchus, we gotta re we gotta revisit that because the bleed thing was not working properly. And if anything moves, it bleeds down so quick. Apparently you can kill a Titanosaur with it, uh, like with I think two or three of those gigabytes and it's dead. So something like that just needs more time. We, we gotta check that out again. Let me see, can I actually hurt you? Oh wow, I do like no damage to you, are you kidding me? All right, let me see, can I do a stomp? You can also do a stomp, but I should probably watch out for your one because your one's kind of terrifying. How about if I do this? Can you hit me and get me pissed off? There we go. This kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> let's just, let's kill this thing before we end it off. Oh God, please don't, don't do too much damage to me. Oh, here it comes. Oh no, no, we need to get out. Oh wait, no, we might be okay. Never mind. I saw a lot of red on the screen and it scared me. All right. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I got really, really frightened. 
Uh, but we actually still have a good amount of health left. <laughs> that was enough to get me into this mode, though, for sure. I wonder if... An, can an acro kill a Giga? We need to test that out as well. Um, anyway, yeah. That is it. And I will catch you in the next one. Look at me just chilling there. That is so goofy. <laughs>